well hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing about master slave architecture so what is master slave architecture so and why do we need a master slave architecture see when we develop a small application we don't require master slave architecture but when uh, we have to scale our application uh, in that time uh, if our site has too many traffic let's say for flipkart or amazon uh, where uh, so many people are visiting at the same time so in that case uh, uh, if any application which has a lot of traffic and you don't want your site to be down okay for that reason you need master slave architecture now let's look into what is master slave architecture so there is a master and there is a slave okay so what master has master and slave both are actually copies of each other okay Ma whatever is in the master it will automatically uh, on timely basis it will get copied uh, in the slave but what's the difference between the master and the slave is master will have permissions only of write operations okay and the slave will have permissions only of the read operations earlier what used to happen is the master used to have let's say we have only the master not the slaves in that scenario all the read operations and the write operations or were bombarded in the master so in that case a lot of load is getting put on the master so we don't want that so for that particular reason we have this master slave architecture where most uh, of the calls which are getting uh, made is actually the read operations okay maximum uh, maximum time there is there are read operations and may, uh, very few times let's say uh, there are write operations which is the case uh, so uh, in such a scenario the slaves uh, could help uh, which is actually the copy of the master uh, could uh, uh give uh, give the uh, read uh, values uh, and uh, only uh, rare cases when a write operation or a transaction is made only then a write operation is made to the master in this way uh, the actually the load which uh, used to get bombarded into master is now separated and distributed equally uh, among the master and the slave so this could uh, be a possible way of reducing the load uh, on the server okay so now so this is uh, this is actually a picture i got from internet and uh, this actually what uh, shows is if you see the picture uh, this actually uh, you have the master and you have the slaves okay but the slave is actually only providing the read operations uh, to the ui okay and uh, only the write operation which is made is given back to the master so not always you require uh, to put two separate kind of databases like here you see a no sql and a sql database so not necessary you can both you can have according to your requirement but uh, the main logic which we need to understand is in slaves we have the read operation and in the master whenever a write operation is made it's made to the master and then it's again replicated to the slaves so there are some pros and some cons okay so pros as i have discussed uh, the load is actually distributed to the slaves and uh, uh, only for write operations the master gets called okay but there are cons as well so what's the con the con is actually uh, that uh, let's say uh, um, uh, there is a replica there might be replication lag uh, let's say something is written inside the master but it's not written in uh, it's uh, those things are uh, those things took took some time to get uh, replicated inside the slaves so if there is such a lag uh, uh, there could be a possible uh, delay in or uh, possible uh, error in displaying the whatever you are uh, means displaying so when you uh, show a read operation you you might get a uh, uh, delay or uh, you might see some error uh, that's could that could be one scenario so and another one is uh, 
increase in right op- uh, it does not increase right operations right it's uh, the master was earlier also let's say it was getting 10 calls uh, 10 right calls uh, right operations now also it is getting 10 right operations the only difference is uh, earlier it used to get uh, this uh, earlier it used to get both the read and write operations in the master and it was getting bombarded and now it's getting distributed in the master slave so this is uh, uh, pretty much of what master slave architecture uh, looks like so hope this video is helpful so see you in the next video where we'll be talking about uh, database sharding and all so thanks for watching